Hi, this is Yu, the VP of Software Engineering at Unreal. So in this video, I will give you a brief introduction of our NR SDK. It's a mixed reality platform for developing MR apps. It consists of five fundamental concepts, including spatial computing, interaction, rendering, utility, and artificial intelligence. So the latest updated version available online now is 1.3, supporting features like 6 dot tracking, which tracks your Unreal Glasses viewing orientation and also the changes in position into your physical environment without any prior information about your environment. Next is the image tracking, which allows you to build MR apps that can respond to pre-trained images in the user's environment, such as posters, signs, or markers. Regarding of rendering pipeline, Unreal has also done lots of work to optimize the rendering performance and to minimize the latency. Asynchronized time working is one of the important aspects of the related features, which can reduce the rendering pipeline latency. It uses the latest pose to do the reprojection before the vSync. NRSDK predicts the head pose for the next few milliseconds. The latest pose that used for ATW is actually the predicted one at the time of VSync. Also, 1.3 version supports plane detection, meaning the glasses can detect flat surfaces like a table or the floor. The developer asked if NRSDK supports vertical plane detection. The answer is yes, surely it does. NRSDK supports both horizontal and vertical plane detection. And we also optimize the mapping, relocalization, and the whole slam stability to provide better development experience in this 1.3 version. We got lots of developers asking about when head tracking will be supported on NRSDK. I am here to tell you that it will be available in our next big update NRSDK 2.0 together with the support of Anker. So currently we plan to release it at the end of June. Our team is working hard to deliver all. Stay tuned. I will see you in the next video for the 2.0 update.